Hello everybody, my name is Exo, and these are 27 things that you probably missed in the trailer. Arthur Morgan's ears and fingertips react to sunlight as if he was a real human being. You can jump through windows, but can you jump through any window? Unlike GTA, I think you can blow up the train, or maybe just the tracks. You can rob a bank, and other stuff. I think these are the camp hookers and they're not allowed to go anywhere but stay at the camp. That's why in this scene they're begging to go to Valentine because they've never been there before. More personal. Let's go! Come on. <laughs> You can jump onto trains. You can actually hold up a stagecoach, aim your gun at them, shoot in the air, and they will stop instead of fleeing the scene and driving away fast as fuck like they did in the first game. When I said that you could rob other things, this is what I meant. So the reason why I think that you can climb through any window is because in this scene where Arthur Morgan is robbing a guy, he obviously didn't kick the door down because the guy would wake up, so the only thing I can think of is a stealthy approach through the window. If you travel too far into the bandit territory, you can get beat up, mugged, robbed, and maybe even killed. Surprisingly, unlike GTA, there's a lot of gore in the game. You can even blow off people's limbs with shotguns, and this also looks like it was shot in Mexico because all these guys are wearing sombreros. The stealth and takedown animations are going to be fucking gruesome. Whatever is thrown at him. <laughs> Just like in Sniper Elite, you can see your enemy's critical points. I don't know about the testicles though. Retracting horse testicles. The weapons that you dual wield do not have to be the same weapon. You can have more than one animal on your horse's back. But the real question is, can you put a Sasquatch on your horse's back? There are actual restaurants with actual menus that you actually have to order off of to sustain the correct amount of a stanima. Or you won't function properly. That makes me wonder, do you have to feed your horse to keep him at a healthy state so he'll do better in gunfights and chases and races and stuff like that? As far as I know, you can only have three weapons on you. The rest of your weapons and inventory are on your saddle or at camp. So in the ESRB rating, there is a warning for nudity and knowing Rockstar, I know that there's going to be prostitutes in the game that are just full blown naked and you're just going to enjoy yourself at a good old Wild West saloon. But then again, that brings in Arthur Morgan. They said that Arthur Morgan is a real life character and a real life like world he's just gonna react to everything realistically so if he's real he's gonna have some real life testicles and real life butt cheeks in this bathing mechanic and I, I I'm not looking forward to that at all you can also man a canoe or a boat or whatever go fishing with some friends hopefully it's online I don't know I shouldn't tell you that it is but if it's in the main game I'm pretty sure it's in line and online in line did that make sense it did shut up so like any other game there's going to be a lot of treasure hunts easter eggs and all sorts of stuff like that but i think this one's pretty cool because it's hidden in a wall behind a bookshelf and you're gonna have to look hard for a lot of stuff just like in red dead redemption one there are still stranger missions in this scene arthur morgan walks up to two prisoners that are fighting and then a mission just randomly starts and who knows what it's about unlike other video games where the main character is a criminal arthur morgan isn't just some untouchable brute of a man just walking around taking names and kicking ass well he kind of does do that but he also gets his ass handed to him and has to pay for the things that he does to people so there's two things in this scene right here you can actually see an exit wound after this guy gets shot in the face in a duel with arthur morgan and there's also to the left a help wanted sign that says ask inside so i think that you can actually do like a legal job instead of just being an outlaw 24 7 so you can see arthur and uncle walking away from a cattle farm and they obviously just sold something and they were seen in a previous clip with the girls who were begging them to go to valentine so either they sold the hookers or they sold some cattle and the girls just tagged along because they were passing through valentine who really knows so earlier on in the video i said that arthur morgan could break into somebody's house stealthily by opening up a window but in this screenshot you see in a first person view that he is kicking down a door so maybe that's an option as well so last but not least if you notice this right off the bat you're a fucking og I don't know if anybody says that anymore. <laughs> uh, you're, you're just, you're a true fan, man. Uh, this is like the exact pose, the exact angle, the exact gun, everything from the case of Red Dead Redemption. So I feel like um, them ending it off with something like this, well, the trailer, ending off the trailer with something like this, that this is going to be the last trailer that we're going to see. And when the game actually comes out uh, before the online beta, we're going to get, we're going to start to get the online trailers and everything like that. But I thought this was like one of the coolest things that they ended it just in that angle the, the, the marston angle boy that's what we gonna call it but um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and if you want to see another video like this for any other game or any other trailer let me know this was kind of cool something different but yeah see you later